of my, um, I guess you call it Transformers Advent Calendar. And first day of Christmas, we've got uh, Predacon Laserbeak. Okay, so this is the uh, UK one. You see, it comes with a little blaster that's in his right hand there. He, uh, I've got the cutout instructions for him. He's pretty easy to transform anyway. And also, his tech spec as well. So, I think this may have been the American one. So, you see, he's got a strength of six, intelligence four, speed nine, endurance three, rank five. Courage 8, Firepower 5, and Skill 5. And there's his bio there. You can just read that. You can always pause it and read through. His function is aerial attacks. And then he comes with a little picture there as well, which is pretty cool. There you go. And then actually back to the figure itself. My camera will focus. There you go. So, um, this is probably one of my favourite moulds at the Transformers Beast Wars basic figures. Uh, they did quite a few of these, uh, Laserbeak, Pterosaur, um, it was about four or five different ones I think in the end. Um, and then they were redone for like um, Transformers Universe and, and things like that. So they got their fair share of toys out of these ones. And this one's kind of purple and kind of like a real dark pink. With bright yellow eyes. It comes with this little gun here which you can fold up so you can put that in either hand. Articulation wise his head's on a ball joint so you can kind of move that backwards and forwards left and right a little bit although these bits here can get in the way a little bit. I don't know maybe that it's just a little bit stiff. Just give you a close up of the head sculpt so you can have a look at that. That's cool. There you go. He's got a rub sign here, so you can see that still works. He's a Predacon. So this is on a ball joint here. It can go all the way up and down. Another ball joint here. So you can move that and swivel that around. So you can get pretty decent poses with this guy if you want to have him um, shooting his weapon here. Again, feet on a ball joint all the way forward and back. Another ball joint there, so you can swivel it all around. And the foot, you can kind of move backwards and forwards. Which comes in handy for standing them up because you can um, on these ones I find that sometimes the feet can get a little bit wobbly as well but um, other than that I really like the figure it's nice sort of detail on here as well you've got kind of scales with color coming across here as well and all you do to transform him nice and simple you take the gun out of his hand here no problems with uh, bits breaking off of these just fold it up here and you pop it into there. So let's pop it the right way in. Get this the right way. Just have it folded up like that. And you just fold it in like that. So it's in there hiding behind his head. And then to transform him, really simple, is you get hold of this front bit here. And you get hold of his head here, in kind of pterodactyl mode. You clip it into there like that, and then you fold his legs forward like that. Yeah, so they kind of they don't really kind of plug into there, but you could have them like that if you wanted to. But I think the official way that they have them is with the legs forward like that, and then these legs here, you fold out the feet and tuck them into these bits here. Okay. Like that. So you've got them standing up. Just like that. And he stands up nicely. You can see if you get close up again you see all the detail on the back here. This bit's all smooth and then you've got all the scales here. Which goes in, you've got the and that goes around all the way around here. These bits here are a little bit fragile, there's a little bit of bend in here, but you want to be careful how you're storing them because you don't want these bits to get snapped off. Yeah, it's got a little bit of articulation here on the head because that can move forward and back, 
and the mouth can open as well. So you can fly in and grab someone. And then to transform it back is nice and simple. Pull this lever like that. Don't want to break it, pull it towards. Yeah. Ah, there you go, sorry, it's just a bit stiff. Pull it up like that. And he's pretty much already transformed. You can just fold his legs out and pull his arms forward. Like that, and he's done. And then if you want to get this gun out, and you can kind of grab it by this bit here, fold it out, fold it out like that, pop it in his hand. There you go. And that is Laserbeak. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, please check out my video again, um, well, my next video uh, on day two, and we'll be having a look at another Beast Wars figures. Bye for now.